Okay, so this experiment is to use the idea of iron rusting in order to try to prove that the percentage of oxygen air in air is about 20%. So what I've set up here is a boiling tube with some damp wire wool, iron wool, trapped up in the top here. And as you can see, I've inverted it and put it into this beaker, this um, dish that's got water in it. I've set up a ruler at the side here so I can measure how tall my bubble is, my air bubble that's inside there. At the moment, I think the water level is the same inside the boiling tube as outside, so I think it's at 12.5 centimetres, so the length of the air bubble in that tube, 12.5. I'm going to leave that set up for about a week, and I'm hoping that the iron will rust in the top of there. Now, in the process of rusting, it's going to change from iron to iron oxide and use up the oxygen that's in the air in that air bubble. And I'm hoping that while it does that, or as it does that, the water level will rise inside the boiling tube and we'll be able to measure, after a week, we'll be able to measure the length of the air bubble that's in the tube and compare the length of the air bubble then with the length that the air bubble is now and show that hopefully it has reduced by about 20%. So I'll set that up, um, perhaps leave it on the windowsill, and I'll see you again in a week, and we can measure again and see what's happened to our air bubble. So this is a week later, and you can see that the um, iron wool up in the top of my boiling tube has gone quite rusty. It's got blackened, and there's some sort of tinges of orange around it, and on this side of it is very orange as well. I hope you can also see that the water level has gone up inside that boiling tube, which is exactly what we expected. The water level's gone up, the length of the bubble has decreased. Um, and I want to just hold this um, pink card behind so that you can hopefully read off the length of the air bubble now. Okay, so it's 12.5 when we set it up. And I hope you'll agree that it looks like it's on about 10 centimetres now. So we should be able to use that data to calculate the percentage difference between the length of the air bubble last time, the length of the air bubble today, and therefore what percentage of that air was oxygen. Okay.